So running is really unique in one particular way. Uh, think about a sport like baseball. How many people just have a dream at some point in their life to watch a baseball game in a particular stadium? Um, you know, maybe it's Yankee Stadium. They want to watch a Yankees baseball game. Think about college basketball. Uh, a college basketball player may dream of getting the opportunity just to play in Madison Square Garden as a college player, even if they don't become a professional. To play in Madison in Madison Square Garden is a dream for many people. To watch again a game in Madison Square Garden is a dream for many people. In running, we get to actually share these courses that professional athletes run at the same time on the same day that they do. And that's pretty unique, that's pretty cool, and that's what I want to talk about today. I've got my computer out today just because there's so much to go through, a lot to talk about, and so many big names out there for the New York City Half Marathon that I'm going to be running myself on March 20th. And this is going to be one of the biggest years truly for the New York City Half Marathon. Um, I, I'm just going to pull up the stats here again. I'm referring to one particular article because I can't even keep all the stats straight in my head. There's gonna be 24 Olympic athletes, eight Paralympians, and six open division athletes who hold national half marathon records in their countries that are going to be racing the New York City Half Marathon in New York City on March 20th, 2022. That group of people is going to be running the same course that I'm gonna be running and any of you are gonna be running if you're running the New York City Half. And again, that's just so unique and special. Um, you know, I think of other another YouTube channel in particular with Seth James Damore. You know, he's a sub elite essentially, I guess sub elite athlete, still years and years ahead of me, it probably doing things that I of course will never do. But at the same time, he's you know not hit an Olympic time qualifier yet. But at the same time, the New York City Marathon that just passed, he was standing warming up right next to Bekele. So again, you know, this mix and ability for great runners but not professional runners average runners to all meet and at least just share the course with these professionals is just something that's really incredible especially if you enjoy the sport of running and distance running you know all these marathon majors things like that it's just really unique it's really cool and i just want to talk about some of the, the athletes who i'm most excited to you know ultimately share the course with and you know maybe get a chance to bump into or run with or whatever might happen on that day so just to start, I'm going to start on the men's side. For me, the person that I believe is going to be the most special to share the course with, um, again, just personal opinion for myself, is going to be Galen Rupp, uh, a great you know American marathon and half marathon athlete. It's going to be his second time that he's racing the New York City Half Marathon, and it was actually his debut at the Half Marathon uh, back however long ago. This you know New York City Half was his first half marathon, so he's going to be running again in 2022, and that's somebody that I'm you know most excited to again share the course with and get to run on the same day at the same event. You know, not exactly side by side, but side by side with. Uh, that's going to be really neat. Joining him on the starting line, we also have Ben True, who I believe won the Open Division in 2018 for the New York City Half Marathon. Uh, and he's an American uh, coming back again to race the New York City Half. Abdi Abdurrahman, who's a five-time U.S. Olympian, is coming back. If you remember back at the 2020... I forget if it was 20, I guess it was the beginning of 2020, Abdi Abdurrahman was one of the people who qualified for the Olympic team and ultimately did run in Tokyo. So again, another Olympian, a recent Olympian who's gonna be at the starting line for the New York City half. 
And what's crazy is Abdi Abdurrahman has run this race nine times before, and this is going to be his 10th appearance for the New York City Half Marathon. On the women's side of things, we're going to have Sarah Hall, who's won the New York uh, Mini 10K, uh, I believe two times. She's run the New York City Marathon. She had run a great race uh, the, at the London Marathon, kind of in 2020 or 2021 when they did that modified course. Uh, the whole last three years kind of blend together. Um, and I believe this is actually going to be her first New York City half marathon, um, but nonetheless, she is now the American record holder for the half marathon. So again, it's just someone who's a huge name, really popular in the sport, and I'm really excited to you know get to share the course with her. And side by side with her is gonna be Molly Seidel. She's probably the woman that I'm most excited to, again, run alongside with. It might be a close tie between Sarah Hall and Molly Seidel, but Seidel had a great Tokyo Olympics, came in third, uh, was one of few women in the history of the Olympic marathon to take a medal home for the United States. Um, and she's just a really cool person. I don't know her personally, obviously, but just seeing all the things that she does through social media and different articles, uh, she actually has a YouTube channel that she does of her own. Uh, I just, again, excited to share the course with her and really excited to see what she can do out there the same day that I'll be out there. So my main point really again just to wrap up this section of the video is just that it's really unique and special to be able to race with these professionals you know these world-class athletes um, it's just not something that i've ever imagined being able to do when i was space focused more on football or track or even snowboarding like i just you know i would never imagine that i would get to share uh, a game a sport an event with anybody in those areas but at the same time now that i'm really becoming more of a dedicated runner um you know i get to share these major courses at these major races with these amazing people and that's just really special and something that's you know i find ex especially cool um, but with that said we got to go outside i've got a five mile recovery run pretty much today and let's go outside and go for a run Well, that's everything for today. Our five mile run is done for the day. Uh, and uh, you know, if you want more details on the run, I'd say go and check out my Strava. It's in the link down below. It always is in every video. If you want to check out some of the more detailed, you know, mile by mile breakdown stuff. But I will just say quickly, average pace was about 9.39 per mile today. Uh, and again, this was just kind of a recovery run after our Sunday long run, which was 11 miles, as we prepare for the New York City half on March 20th. So definitely subscribe down below if you haven't already. We have our full 10 by 400 meter workout tomorrow. And uh, you know, next weekend we'll be doing the Washington Heights uh, Salsa Blues 5K up in Washington Heights in New York City. And uh, we'll also have a 12 mile long run, which will wrap up this peak week for the New York City half. So really exciting, uh, not feeling too bad, honestly, so that's a good sign. It's probably just because it's been a lower mileage plan, but nonetheless, it's been a lot of fun and we're still seeing some progress. So until next time, guys, be well. And uh, yeah, just hope to see you all coming back in the next video.